Today's training video is going to be great, so let's just get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobu Man. Today we're going to continue with our help desk tickets. We're going to troubleshoot them. And uh, let me see here. I'm going to load up my computer right now. This is just a remote desktop session. And let's see where we're at. Where did we leave off last time? and uh, okay it looks like we got seven notifications we're going to that's that's a lot of notifications we're going to check those out real quick i do want to say i apologize to the paying members uh, mem people who became members of the channel in the past i want to say two weeks or three weeks i didn't have i did not have an early access video i apologize for that it's just that i started a new job and i have less time to work on videos because it previous job i worked from home a lot and i had more time to concentrate on that but today is going to be a, a an early video for people who are paying members so today saturday i'm going to release it as soon as i'm done i'm working on it right now and it's it's noon already uh, but uh, i will get that out and it's going to be an early video so i apologize for that and of course on sunday everybody else is going to be able to watch it okay let's see we got a bunch of notifications from Tracy Moore, uh, she replied, it worked, thank you, it worked, thank you, it worked, thank you, and it worked, thank you. Looks like on those tickets that we worked on that she submitted, so she just replied, worked, thank you. That is awesome. Uh, you're very welcome, Tracy. And for those reasons, I am going to say, if you don't mind, Instead of saying hello, hi, or present in the comment, please do me a favor and just say, thank you, Tracy. You know, I'm going to type it in just so you guys can see what I mean. If you don't mind, please, because Tracy uh, makes a big difference when it comes to the amount of tickets we work. And basically that helps not just me, but everybody else who's wanting to learn stuff. So if you can just do like this, say thank you. Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. So I'm going to zoom into this and I'm going to give you a big thumbs up for doing that. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Truly, truly grateful to you, Tracy. All right. Let's get into the tickets. We're going to start off with unassigned. Well, let me see here. There are some couple of things that I need to actually close. Incidents, changes. This is the ticket I was looking at. This is from last month, and this is from Precious uh, Lawal. Uh, this ticket uh, just came and says, just learning how to use a ticketing system. And the description says, I attend one of your classes and decided to use website to learn ticketing system because I am looking for a job, uh, for a job in IT. Uh, yeah, sure thing. No problem. Uh, you know, if you want to test it out, then that's perfectly fine. I wish you best of luck. And I'm going, just going to say, best of luck and close this ticket. Well, so this came up as a request, as in for a change. What that means is that when there is a big change on a system that is part of the company, let's say you go in and create the new IP address for a new device, this type of thing has to be approved by a manager and then you can either approve it or decline it it just depends on the reason for it so it's usually a big change that's changing the way the systems are normally set up so i'm going to just set it to as planning and then i'm going to click on review here and what this is done is just kind of going through the process of the change and then i'm just going to click approve it okay and i'm going to mark it as complete so i hope that comes off as something that's understood so any big changes to the systems whether it's on a network level server level or just a system level that's not normal basically a change to it then you have to get that change approved before you can complete it okay so that's good to learn if you're especially doing tier 2 tier 3 or some kind of on-site tech support all right, Tracy Moore, and uh, we're going to talk about this next ticket, and it's about desktop computer malfunction. I am uh, E6 
uh, English faculty with a desktop computer in arts and human in, in and humanities office. So this is somebody introducing themselves. This morning when I arrived, my screen had an unusual pattern on it and the computer would not shut off. I always power down my computer at the end of the day, so I'm not sure why it was on it at all. And it says I had to shut off the power strip to get the computer to shut off. And when I turned it back on, the computer would only make a cycling sort of exhalation sound and nothing would show up on the monitor it has been doing that now for 45 minutes without any change all right so you know we can we're gonna look at this just concentrating on this sentence here where it says this morning when i arrived my screen had an unusual pattern on it and the computer would not shut off so what could this mean a lot of times when a computer overheats or when there is an issue with the GPU, the computer would freeze and the image on the monitor would just be unusual pattern, right? It could be just nonsense, nonsensical looking or just as in the picture is smeared type of stuff. So let's see how that looks like. We're going to go to Google. I'm going to say crashed computer screen I'm going to say monitor I'm going to say this so and here here's one actually right here so if you look at this one here the chances are this is the same issue and it says how to fix crazy screen crashing freezing with you know whatever so here are some examples of this type of behavior and this is what they look like so it's just crashed and and just blurred like that this could indicate a bad graphics card usually because we are sh looking at a screen display so what is integrated when it comes to displaying the video that would be your graphics card or embedded gpu so regular computers in the business environments they will have these just part of the cpu embedded gpus but either way uh, the other ones are blue screen of that not necessarily related but if we look at this one here specifically and the ones on the, the other ones that we saw previously on the side these are examples of video corruption so it's usually related to the gpu going bad or overheating or overclocking of the GPU. Now, if you haven't been doing any overclocking on the GPU, then most likely it's either a physical issue or a driver issue. And this can also happen when you overclock, you know, the CPU as well, but it's mostly happening when it comes to GPU, you, st you start the screen, you start to see the screen a fragment like this and it's just fragmentizing and it's just a bunch of fragments and it says here i have to shut off the power strip to get the computer to shut off so it's it's, it's stuck it's frozen it crashed it completely crashed and when i turn it back on the computer would only make a cycling sort of you know sound and nothing would show up on the monitor it has been doing that now for 45 minutes without any changes so I would check these things that I've mentioned and let me just start typing because there really isn't much else that could be wrong. There could be bad monitor as well, uh, you know, because you just kind of have to check this. It could be a bad monitor, uh, but uh, let me just say this. I want to say I would check on below issues with the computer and I'm just going to start listing things. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say overheating first. Then I'm going to say for two, I'm going to say bad GPU slash driver for the GPU. And then I'm going to say for third, I'm going to say GPU overclocking. And I'm going to say. Did I say, okay, so I said overheating, bad GPU driver, 
GPU overclocking, and it could be a bad monitor. But I'm going to say check cables first. Now, of course, when you're trying to turn on the computer, you know, it says here when I turn it back on the computer, we we'll just be making cycling sort of a sound or whatever. And um, to me, that almost indicates that maybe a fan has gone bad. This could be a GPU fan. So it could be a GPU fan no longer cooling the GPU and the GPU can no longer handling it, can no longer handle it, excuse me. And I'm going to show you this GPU. And it's no longer cooling the GPU. You know, let's say one of these, any of these stops, stops to work then it's no longer going to be able to cool it off because GPUs and CPUs get really, really hot. And this is when you start to get that fragmentation on the screen because it's overheating. And I'm going to just kind of add this check to see if fan is spinning. Now, in some cases, GPU fans, especially on these aftermarket GPUs here, some of them actually not spin all the time. It depends on whether it needs to cool off. So sometimes you would just have one fan spinning and not the other or vice versa or none of them spinning at all until it actually gets to a certain temperature. This is a power saving thing, you know, but if it's being used, then both of them should be spinning at various speeds. Now, if you hear a cycling you know, if you hear a cycling sort of, you know, whatever this means here, to me kind of reminds me of a fan just kind of rubbing against something or or uh, it could be, well, yeah, that's a good point. Actually, it could be the fan is, you know, blocked. So I'm just going to leave it at this. And uh, if there's a cable, uh, you know, stuck where the GPU is or any fans, this could also stop the fan from spinning, you know, so that's something to check as well and I'm gonna leave it at that yeah I'm gonna leave it at that I'm going to say yeah, please let me know if that helps as usual you, you guys can let me know uh, guys and gals that are watching you can let me know in the comments if you have any other thoughts or ideas what could be causing this and I apologize for talking a little bit slower because I'm I'm tired. <laughs> I had to run some errands just now. I'm going to keep going as much as I can. Uh, computer issues. And it says here, my HP laptop isn't allowing me to take any of any type of quiz through Brightspace. My screen just goes blank white. Is there something I can do to fix this? So I don't know what Brightspace is, it sounds like it's some kind of a website and there's a quiz on it, right? As simple as that. So that's the issue. The quiz doesn't come up and it's just a screen just goes blank white. So what are some things that can cause this? Well, first of all, the obvious one is a website not, not coming up, not loading. So when I go to CosmicNova.com, let's just say it's stuck at this screen here and doesn't actually load through, then there could be an issue with the website, not just there's an issue with the website, right? Like this, you know, it's, see, it just keeps thinking and then within two or three seconds it loads, that's perfectly fine. You know, and if I just keep going like this and if it doesn't load, then there's obviously something wrong with the website. But what if there's nothing wrong with the website, right? What if that's the case what if that's the case then you could uh, assume that there is some kind of issue with the web browser or local catch that is downloaded cache or catch uh, some people call it this or that you know like cookies or any data that's downloaded as soon as i visit this website you you've probably seen most recently when you go to a website for the first time it says 
are you okay with us using cookies because there are some kind of laws in Europe or this and that uh, that are Europe or US, I don't know, in the world that are basically not allowing companies and websites to collect personal data and this can help in by using cookies and this and that. So, And if those are corrupted locally, it can cause those type of issues. You know, and for those reasons, you can try to pull up the same website in Chrome. So here's just Chrome, and I'm going to go to CosmicNovo.com just to see if it works and, you know, see if that works. If that's the case, if that's the case and it works in a different browser, then what you want to do is delete cookies, you know. So here's just Chrome. Let's just do it in Chrome. It's going to be slightly different than the other ones and the other browsers but if you go to settings and you know if you if you can't find it like in chrome and and all the new browsers should have this feature just type in cookies on the search it's very easy to find now and if you just scroll down you can see here it is clear browsing data you know and you can delete this you can delete all the time just be just to make sure that it's not something that's always been the case but you can also specify, let's say the issue started just a day or last seven days. You can specify last seven days, clear data, and this should clear any issues that happened most recently. So if it worked seven days ago, then this is, you know, this is what I would do. I wouldn't necessarily delete all data. Why? Because there are some browsing history, things like browsing history. If you look at this browsing history, download history, cookies, and other data, a lot of this stuff, uh, can also be accidentally um, deleted, like for example, passwords and sign-in data. Um, I mean, it, it should retain it. It just depends on the setting. In this case, it's not checked that it would delete passwords and other sign-in data, but just double check because it does vary from uh, browser to browser. So maybe, you know, just kind of, you know, but it, in general, it's generally speaking, it's safe to do this, right? So you can try to fix that. And if that doesn't work and you know it's working on other on other computers for other people then you can start to look into other issues for example you know the person doesn't have access to this quiz you know stuff like that you know just make sure that that same quiz that the exact same quiz works for others then if it doesn't work for just one person then it could be that so i'm going to say you can take below steps to troubleshoot one uh, make sure that web site is working correctly and i'm going to say in parentheses quiz um is yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna say quiz yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that so check to make sure the website works and the quiz is working correctly for other users two so to troubleshoot this further if everything is working fine i'm going to say clear browsing data slash cookies and you can specify to only do it for that website and here's an example of that do i have it open here we go settings cookies in chrome you can specify which uh which uh data to specifically i'm sorry it's actually here cookies and other data and you can say see all cookies and site data and you can for example search for uh, let's do google because i haven't i know i visited google before so here is going to just come up only for google but you can do the same thing for this other website this brightspace so just search for brightspace and you can delete those specific cookies and just say you can individually remove them or you can just say remove all shown and it will delete only that data for that website so if you want to keep it safe you can do that then say 
I'm going to say try a different internet browser. And four, was there four? Yeah, I'm going to say uh, make sure that the user has access to the quiz. Now, you know, there could be some other issue, like for example, I don't know, let's say it's using JavaScript or something like that to execute. We don't know. We don't have enough data here to determine what the actual error is. We don't know what the actual error is, and that's okay, uh, you know, because Tracy submits a lot of uh, tickets for me and you know, I can't expect her at this point to provide as much data as possible because I have a feeling these are actual tickets that she uh, is sharing with us. And uh, we certainly appreciate that. And I'm just going to leave it at that. And since I've talked to Tracy many times over this, I'm just going to I'm just going to save it. Normally, I would say, please let me know if that worked. So I'm just going to yeah, I'm going to leave it open. All right. Here's another one for no video. And it says in room, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there is no video to the monitor and the computer is on. Thank you. So th this one is kind of straightforward. If there is no video and the computer is turned on, well, make sure that the computer is actually running. So look for, well, let's list those steps. Please follow below steps to say check to see if computer is actually working you know I'm gonna say hard drive LED activity this is activity this is a big indicator whether the computer actually is working so I would check that first. We can't really take their word for it. We have to check it. And this says no video. So what else? I'm going to say check monitor cables and see if anything comes up on the screen. Does the monitor say no signal? You know, if that's the case, if the monitor says no signal, then that means the monitor is most likely working. You know, if it says no signal found and there's something on the screen, that means that the monitor is most likely working. And you can have a bad cable too. I'm going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, try a different cable. I'm going to say, for example, DVI instead of VG, VGA, right? So if you have a, a computer that's using VGA and it's suddenly not working, then try a DVI cable. You know, it could be just that the cable itself is bad, but just to save time, if there's an option of using a different port, that's what I would do instead of trying to figure out whether it's bad. I mean, you can try a different cable. You know, I apologize, you should actually, yeah, you should try the same cable if you suspect it's cable. But if you want to save time, you can just try a different one for a different type of uh, video connection. And I'm going to say if monitor is not responsive at all, you know, i.e. nothing on the screen, replace monitor and then later on you can check it all right i think i'm going to leave it at that now i did see comments i do see comments on, on on videos people asking for specific training like for example actor directory and uh some kind of a system administration stuff and specific uh, almost niche type of uh training I, I see that those requests and I'm actually writing them down. I'm keeping notes of those and I will eventually get to them. 
I, I just don't know when, to be honest. Uh, until I get a bit more situated and get used to uh, going to the work physically. Again, I worked from home for two and a half years now, I think, and I've gotten out of shape, <laughs> out of shape. So uh, till I kind of get in the groove of things, I won't be able to get to those yet. So I apologize for that. But, you know, I will eventually get those. I really want to make more specific system tutorials as well, not just help desk stuff. So you can look forward to that. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. All right, let me know what you think. Uh, please like the video. It really helps push it so that other people can find my channel. And uh, I wish you best of luck if you're watching my videos as somebody who is already doing IT stuff. I hope you're learning new things from me. I know some of this stuff can get repetitive for some of you. Or maybe a refresher, which if that's the case, then that's awesome. But I also see some people, you know, I, a lot of people are watching my videos because they've never worked help desk or they want to get into IT. And yeah, I want to wish best of luck, not just to those people, but everybody else who is uh, watching my videos. I appreciate you all and, I, and uh, take care. Bye bye.